Hey what's going on guys, it's Sarge and today we're going to be taking a look at the Arca Titron so drop a like on the video if you enjoyed and let's get started. Now the Titron is a Massey rank 10 melee weapon that can be gotten from the market. It has some very unique properties which I will talk about in a minute but to start off with its stats I will go with it has the highest base damage of any melee weapon in the game higher than the Galatine, higher than the Sindo, higher than any other melee weapon in the game so it does have 180 total damage with 170 of it being impact and 63 of it being slash so there is no puncture base damage in this weapon so it's not that great against Grunir although it's amazing against Corpus. It has some very weird critical and status based chance for this weapon. It has a 24% crit chance with a 38% status chance and it has a 2x multiplier which is very weird since it doesn't have an even amount of stats with fives and zeros. Instead they're going with a different route of different types of numbers which is pretty cool since it will make every Every weapon different and I really like that kind of idea to go with melee weapons and other weapons in general. Now it does suffer with a very slow attack speed so you will have to make up for it with a Berserk, a Prime Fury or any other mod. I would really stay away from using Spoiled Strike when it comes to this weapon since having a lower attack speed is not going to make any difference even if you do have a lot of damage. I would rather prefer having a lot more attack speed to make up for it. Now what makes this melee weapon unique compared to a lot of other weapons being in the Arca category of melee weapons and just Arca in general, it does have its own passive of a slam capacitor which will increase the damage you do by 100% on your next slam attack for each kill you get with this melee weapon which will stack up to 10 times so this weapon can get a lot more stronger as you use it. Now since this weapon does have really good stats my build for this weapon mainly revolves around my status and gas procs since I will be going for a gas build I went with prime pressure point with prime fury to get as much damage output and to increase the speed of this weapon with berserk so I can get as much speed as possible. I use Blood Rush so I can get the 24% crit chance and have even more crit chance to go with it so it can go towards having both status and crit at the same time even though my crit will be like a passive to go with it. I'm using Organ Shatter to get more damage out of it with the crit chance if I do actually land an actual crit and I'm using Drifting Contact with two status based mods so I can get more status chance with Volcanic Edge since it is a dual stat mod and Drifting Contact will let me keep my combo multiplier high so I can even further my damage and keep my combo multiplier lasting for a long time. How you should use this weapon? I would use this weapon only for the corpus since this weapon is mainly damage towards the corpus and the gas procs will help you kill them even quicker. I would highly recommend staying away from the grenier. So that'll be the video for today guys. Don't forget to like, favor, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.